Man, I am back on my feet and my work area is done. I'm super excited. We're going to take a look at it when we come back, so don't go away. Hey everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm up and about and my revamp to my room is just about done. So it's time to show you what I've been up to. Now, if you remember, uh, before I got sick, I had started this project. Well, I, I shouldn't say before I got sick. I was already sick and getting sicker. And I started this project not really thinking it out. And as my energy levels fell, uh, this project ground to a halt. Uh, it was only after I got home from the hospital that I was able to get back to work. And uh, in no small part, thanks to my wife, Reggie, it is just about done. She was amazing and she really did the heavy lifting. And I, I mean the heavy lifting. She was moving furniture. She was taking all the big heavy bags of stuff down to the garage and out to the trash and, and doing whatever needed to be done. Um, so really thanks to her, I wouldn't have this done yet if it weren't for her. Uh, but it is just about done. So it's time to take you guys on a tour of my revamped room. So let's take a look. Okay, when you enter my work area, if you hang on immediate right, you'll see this bookcase that I built in uh, several years ago. And this is the main area where I keep all the stuff that my wife won't let me have any place else in the house. Uh, it's filled with a lot of my personal little treasures and things that make me happy. Um, and it originally was there to hold DVDs, but uh, I cleaned those out, uh, donated them, got rid of them. Here's a wonderful display stand, I'm going to put a link down below, that works perfect for displaying a Sweet 16 setup. Uh, it, it's affordable, it looks great, and you see how nice it looks with the Sweet 16 sitting on it, so I was real happy with that. Down here you've got my Nautilus submarine and another prized possession, an actual autographed school bus box, uh, autographed by the man himself, Tom Daniel. All right. Now here is uh, some more display stands that I that I was able to find and pick up, and I'll also link to these that worked out great for displaying uh, my most important vehicles. And uh, I, I'm going to do in the next live stream. I'm going to do uh, the tip of the month on the little boxes that I display those cars in. So uh, we'll be talking about that coming up really, really soon. So very happy with the way that works out. But overall, this is a place where I can keep all sorts of stuff. There's a vase from Spain when I was in the military. There's uh, some uh, firemen and space things and just a, a lot of things uh, that, that are important to me. And it really makes my room feel like a, a special place, you know, a place I can really get into. Now, this corner, a lot happened. This used to be jam-packed with stuff all the way up to the bookcase, including my little light box and where I did the rotisserie shots and the glamour shots. Uh, that's all gone out of here. It, it just didn't work. I got rid of it. I probably won't be using it. And what I did is I moved this Rascog cart from over by my work area over to this corner now that I've got a little more room. What used to be right up against here was my speaker, right where this chest was, and that moved down underneath the uh, paracording cart. And that's a, a, a vintage Bose speaker. And I'll show you more of that when we get over to the stereo system. But so by getting rid of the, the uh, light box and the speaker, I was able to put this Rascog cart over here. And I got this fantastic set of drawers from Hobby Lobby. And uh, really kind of have a little room here now and it looks nicer but the best part is is that these drawers are filled with my die cast cards so i got rid of this massive tub that i had filled with die cast cards i got rid of lots of little containers that had die cast cards and i have them all here where i can easily get to them so like right up here Bunch of red lines. There's a red line Corvette missing a wheel. Uh, you know, they're all in order and 
it's just easy for me to find a car to do a project on. So this thing was really a fantastic find. I was super happy with that. And then, like I said, I've got the Rastog car over here. It's on wheels. I can move it wherever I need. But when I'm done, it can go right back here out of the way and keep my room looking neat. Right there, you have my paracord workstation. And I built that. Uh, not my plan. I saw the plans for it. Well, not the plans. Somebody had made one online and they showed pictures of it. So I reverse engineered it and made my own. And it's got a, an adjustable table. It's got a place for the paracord, scissors, tools. It's lit. And right in here, this is from Ikea. Uh, I've got this. Uh, uh, this is actually a Calyx 1x4 cube set with drawer inserts. You can buy these little drawer inserts. So I've got all my uh, paracord tools and hanks of paracord down in here. So like, uh, here's a nice blue and white thing. And, you know, uh, so everything I need for doing paracording is right here. And so this is another fantastic little option. So I've got all my paracording. I got my cars. I got my carts, everything in this corner. And it just makes the room look a lot better and more organized. My desk here is an area where a lot happened. Uh, I actually originally planned to get rid of the desk and uh, give it to my son, but he didn't want it. And I thought that was weird because it was a really strong desk, solid, looked good, very functional. And while I was thinking of all those things, I ended up selling the desk to myself. So I'm keeping the desk, and uh, I just got rid of all of the superfluous junk from it, cleaned it out both above, below, and inside, and made this fabulous workstation here. I started off uh, with the plan to have a dock set up where I could put my laptop in and then it would come over and power this beautiful LG ultra-wide monitor uh, that I could then control with a mouse and a wireless keyboard um, along with some Bose desktop speakers and uh, it really gives me a nice functional way to use my laptop. It keeps it up out of the way. Uh, just so much nicer now. I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way things uh, came out over here. Uh, right here you'll see a few of my collectibles and uh, my uh, Elgato Stream Deck for doing my live streams. And the Gigadigit uh, is the hub that makes the whole uh, docking of the laptop work. Um, there's a lot going on there and it's an amazing device that's getting everything done. Of course I have a few of my favorite things that I will never part with and my Batman statue is one of them. This is a replica of the statue in uh, Bruce Wayne's den. And him and Robin would open the head and turn a switch to open the, the bookcase so they could get to the bat poles. Well, not only is it a replica of it, it opens and has the switch. And I have that wired to work the desk lights. Love this thing one of my favorite possessions. Of course the room wouldn't be right without the three blind mice gracing the desktop. And so I've got those courtesy of my wife. Now over here is my workspace and it probably looks a lot like it used to to you, but if you look closely you'll see that I've added a third layer to the Hobby Zone stuff around the top. And I've labeled all of the compartments so I know where everything is at. I kept the lighting the same, uh, I moved uh, the cameras and mics all up out of the way on some mounts uh, and basically just got rid of all the clutter. The stuff there is stuff I'm actually working with. This is my main streaming camera and I got this great uh, arm from Elgato that allows me to keep it up out of the way and bring it up and over the Hobby Zone stuff uh, for my principal filming uh, using this camera. Uh, so it worked out really, really nicely for me, and it's uh, allowing me to get the footage and have something kind of permanently set up. Over here is another uh, uh, Logitech camera, and that's on an arm as well, and that's made to uh, film the work surface. But you can see that everything is nice and neat except for the stuff that I had out in the picture. All right, over here is the stereo. I was talking about that is my antique, or I should say my vintage Sansui receiver. Uh, right next to that on the right is my Fluence turntable. 
and adorning that on top is the AMT uh, Christie fire engine that I built. This is a big part of my room. It's a place where I can go and listen to vinyl and just vibe out and, and really uh, just kind of do my own thing. And I really love it. I love the sound of it. It's powering two large Bose speakers, a Bose sub, and uh, a couple Bose cubes. So the room sounds great. Now the paint station, all I really did was kind of clean up. Um, I straightened everything up. I cleaned out the drawers of that little rolling cart. And you see, uh, it's, it's kind of organized. Um, but, you know, there wasn't a lot to do over here. Just kind of straighten it up and, and make it work out for myself. And uh, then over here on the left, you see I've got my, my resin 3D printer. So that was a, the easy part, uh, basically to clean everything and then just organize a little bit. So in this corner, I used to have the 3D printers in a set of cabinets right here. And over here, I had a bunch of bric-a-brac on one of these uh, Calyx uh, cube sets from Ikea. And the problem was it was really crowded in here. Uh, I really wasn't a fan of the way it worked out. So I thought if I switched uh, what was on the other side of the room and this, that would allow me to put the, uh, the vinyl cutter over here keep it there, have it connected and ready to go anytime I want it, have all the vinyl right here, and then just kind of decorate around it uh, again with some of my favorite things like my Major Matt Mason space station and my Enterprise. Hey Siri, turn on the Enterprise. Absolutely. Here you go. What's not to love about that, right? I tell you, I love that thing. Hey Siri, Turn off the Enterprise. You got it. Anyhow, so this worked out a lot better. I've got the vinyl cutter in a place where I can actually get to use it. I have all the rolls of vinyl, so they're available. And I've got all my tech down here. I've got my, uh, my cable modem and my Google Wi-Fi and a bunch of other stuff going on down there. So this really, really worked out great. And then, of course, I went ahead and backlit the entire uh, cube from Ikea with some lights from Govi, and I'm going to put a link to them below, but I, I, I'm going to do a whole separate review on the Govi strip lights and compare them to uh, the LifeX strip lights, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a whole separate video, but I really like them, and there will be a link uh, to where I got those. Okay, over in the one corner, you can see my vinyl cutting area, and over here, you see where I've got the 3D printers now, and the fabulous uh, Govi strip lights that I have behind the Calyx the cubes. You see what a wonderful look it gives you for, the, for a display. I've got it lit up in red, and uh, man, it sure is really a nice little thing. Um, you know, a place where I can keep some of my stuff and show it off. And uh, also keep the 3D printers kind of out of the way. So this was a real big hit for me. And uh, it really makes this end of the room so much nicer for me. Yeah, it was a lot of work. But not only can I get the things done that I want to get done up here, it's also a place I can enjoy being. So there you have it, my new revamped work area. Not only is it a great place for me to do my videos, and do my projects, but it's just kind of a cool place where I can kind of vibe out and do my thing. I can listen to my vinyl, I can watch a movie on my computer, or I can just take in some of my favorite things in the world, you know, material things. Uh, it really is a, a fantastic place. I'm super happy about it, and I'm glad that I was able to share it with you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, Click the little bell and you'll be notified anytime I release a new video. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions wishing you an amazing, productive, happy day where you can vibe out and just feel the flow. Until next time, be good.